Hey everyone, it's Arlo here and today we're playing full movement speed AP Vladimir playing against probably Vagar. and so I have all of these runes focused on movement speed with Night Harvester which is going to grant speed as well and it's actually Cassio I don't want to trade too much with her level 1 level 2 is actually harder because if she applies her poison then yeah, but I wanna trade with my empowered Q because it deals more damage and heals for better amount. Actually got her, see? She's really squishy, level 1. And when she's pressing E like that, she's actually wasting lots of mana without the Q. Also played with Ghost for this speed build. Ah, uh, she actually baited my Q and I lost a lot. Still fine though. This build deals huge amount of damage late game, but the difference is that you can really reach your target. Like there is no getting away. Yes, she actually poked me a lot, but you see her mana bar. That's the cost of spamming like this. And she actually has Ignite, not Teleport. Okay, that's aggressive. I'm not surprised since she's playing against Vladimir. Okay. That was close, but now she's out of mana. Too bad I couldn't heal on anything now, and there's no camp. But she ignited me already, I just let her push or level up, that's what I needed to heal like this, I'll be fine now. Also Evelyn is coming. Oh, you got the kill? You got the kill? Yes. That's one. And now the red buff. If I could hit her with that E now. She's dead? No? Okay, then like this. So pretty much the way it works. When you hold your E, you actually don't lose progression over that bar. So it was key to hit her and of course it collides with minions. And I had my empowered Q, so with E I was able to maintain it long enough. So it was a sure hit. Nice. Let's get Harvester. I think I'm getting boost now. Oh, I actually forgot. I have magical footwear, so I will get enhanced once later. So more AP for now. Still having double buff. Let's use this fact. Okay, now I have Vault. Look at that damage. Don't fight with Vladimir with Empowered Q. You press Q twice and the next Q after is empowered pretty much. I love playing hyperscaling champions like Vlad is definitely 1v5. His teammates actually help too. During the E cast, Vladimir is being slowed, by the way. Okay, just couldn't reach. 
against Casio it's not easy to do the combo if I don't have my ghost or something. But the way it is, your Q actually has great synergy with your ult. And you should be pressing your Q in the same moment as your ultimate, because it's instant. The ultimate is instant. Then you just press your E and hold your E with W. You release the E, press Q for a second time, and profit. I don't think it's worth triggering Ghost now. She has too much health. Yeah. So for now, let's just back. Unless she interrupts my recall. Oh, she wasn't there. Team fight is gonna be so fun, like all the speed that I can get from this build. And once you complete two items, like Rabadons with Night Harvester and the boots, you can already carry hard. I just go aggressively now. The only thing that makes it harder is the fact with Vladimir having his engage pre obvious to Casio. But if I press Ghost, that's a different thing because even if she realizes, nothing happens. If you can try to kill the enemy. Actually, Nafiri is coming, I'm gonna waste her time. Because she's probably still going there. Now I'm gonna ward. There you are. Let's go. Oh, that was quick. So later I'll be able to kill these pack baits with a single E, right? Oh, I can actually kill pack mates. By the way, seeing the enemy team, they are really squishy and that's pretty fortunate for Vlad. Yes, they have lots of bears, but I have my W and hitting, so I should be fine if I play it right. Also, the longer you hold your E, the better the damage is. I'm gonna wait out Ignite. Try to wait out. Do I get healed on reduced healing with Ignite or not? You can see it was the last second. And she's dead, I think. Yes. Oh. oh, she might kill me. Ah, just one second for the Q. I think I could have just backed. I'm gonna wait for boots. That's really close. Let's see how Akali plays that. I think we vote she was able to kill. Alright, got my boots, will be much easier to engage at Casio without the use of Ghost. Oh, Evelyn. Nice one. Oh! So close. I wonder if she was able to also. Oh. <laughs> That's why I knew that she had her. to bet 
I do it like this. <laughs> Let's go out then. Is that... Is this one? No, what? Wait, what? Yes. Hey, now, Fury. I think I could dive her. Wait, shield for that much? No way. Wow, she was really tanky somehow. Was Eclipse that much? The dive would be harder than I thought. Okay, I'm getting closer to that cup. And that's where the fun begins. This thread seems free now. She died. How is Nafiri able to tank so much? I'm surprised. Nafiri pretty much engaged at me and I didn't press out earlier. But now I've got the dead cap. From this point, Nafiri's shield shouldn't be a problem. Look, I can just clear the wave like that with the Oh, you were a minion? Just heal on that. Should I trigger ghost against Cassio? I think I don't need to. I'm Your team has destroyed a turret. Slain. 
Do I join with Ghost? Or not yet? I think someone will face check. Oh, wait. She knew? Oh. My ghost is being wasted like this. Just heal on this, I guess. Hmm, what happened? I thought Cassie was dead. Maybe Evelyn was trying to out, but she was actually in that W of Cassio. <laughs> nice idea. Oh yeah, that he just countered me. Nope. Oh, I overstayed. Okay, next time getting Cosmic Drive, which also grants movement speed. But before that, I think some additional magic plan could help. Also, it feels like I could benefit from an hourglass. Oh. Nope. I thought she had me. A harvest moon so aptly named. I thought Shivana was going tank like her HP wasn't dropping down fast. She's naturally tanky. It's not even AP Shivana. The AD is the most meta now. Oh, it's Nico. Nico, that's a suspicious minion. Wow, <laughs> left on such HP. Oh, there you are. Ah, uh, actually got me. But yeah, now with additional magic pen, was much easier to kill Nafiri. I don't really have that much magic with this, so I guess I finish Cosmic Drive first. Oh, defensive vault. Oh, Akali died. Oh, that. Wow. Took longer. This Nico is trolling.
And Vega is pushing bot. He'll destroy the Reds in seconds with all that AP scaling he has. And Cosmic Drive. Should I trigger ghost? Now I'm gonna do. Whoa. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Is it going to be the big outplay? Let's go! Penta! No, Vegar. Come on, Vegar. Um, then I have to bait you hard, I guess. Into thinking you can actually kill me. Ah, it didn't work. Okay. No Penta. Still, the outplay was pretty fire. close they're gonna chase me I'm out Magi or Void stuff I guess Magi nice I've got more HP so this is late game for this build and you already saw potential Nearly a penta. Let it all out. A hard so all right, let's see. Come on, Casio, walk this way. Maybe someone eventually? It's not worth it, right? I guess I do this. Nope. <laughs> And that's like a quadra. At this point, Vladimir is unkillable. 900 AP. Wow. Ok, 
Okay, let's see now. Oh. No. Actually, cute. Nope. <laughs> but W just counters na Fury. Alright, thanks for watching guys. It was a fun game. If you enjoyed this feel free to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what do you think. You can also visit my stream. 49,000 damage and the additional movement speed triggered a lot. This is pretty much the best Vladimir build. So thanks for watching guys and see you next time.